Turkish President through Trump letter in Bian. Here's a summary of the article. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan put U.S. President Donald Trump's letter in the bin, the BBC has been told. In the letter dated 9 October, and sent after U.S. troops were pulled out of Syria, Mr. Trump told Mr. Erdogan, don't be a tough guy. Don't be a fool. Turkish presidential sources told the BBC that the letter was thoroughly rejected by Mr. Erdogan. President Trump has faced intense criticism for the withdrawal of troops, which some say effectively gave Turkey the green light to launch the military attack. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi also held an apparently explosive meeting with President Trump on the issue, which led to her and Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer walking out of the room. Earlier on Wednesday, President Trump said the U.S. should not be intervening in Turkey's military operation in Syria because it is not our border, and called the former U.S. allies the Kurds no angels. Turkish troops and allied Syrian rebels launched the offensive in northern Syria last week to push back from the border members of a Syrian Kurdish militia, called the People's Protection Units, and to create a safe zone where up to two million Syrian refugees can be resettled. This post received a score of 20,037, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Didn't even put it on the fridge, what a shame. No. Recep, don't be a fool. I'll call you later. You're tearing me apart. Oh hi Mark. It's bullshit I did not write it, I did not. Oh hi Erdogan. Greater than Donald Trump's mixture of threats and locker room banter infuriated Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. His staff told the BBC that he threw the letter into the bin and launched the Syrian operation the same day. Well done Trumpy boy. TBH what did he expect? He wrote a letter basically saying, What's up fella how you doin'? Hear me don't kill people please otherwise I'll ruin your economy smiley face, trust me I can smiley face, you are a shithole country after all. I saved your ass before, ddd no bad blood ok? Have a good day. I'll call you later, mmmk. OMG what a fucking moron. So, Recep, how's your sex life? I did not commit impeachable offenses, I did not, oh hi Recep. You're tearing me apaart Recep. Trump, 15 minutes later. Greater than on the Kurds, he added, they fought with us. We made a lot of money for them to fight with us, and that's okay, yikes, the man has maybe three sentences in his vocabulary and he simply tweaks the nouns around. Greater than we made a lot of money for them to fight with us. Was he trying to say they were mercenaries? I can usually decipher Trumpese but this one just has me confused. Pretty much. He's correct on that though, and in fact some Kurdish leaders had fears they were cannon fodders article from 2016. Overall, they stuck with the Americans to finance their militia and hope they would pressure Russia into accepting an autonomous regional government and eventually an independent state. They've damaged our national security beyond repair. When the Bush admin went against the UN post 9-11 and invaded Iraq based on falsified evidence the GOP normalized such actions. In doing so gave Russia, China, and all our enemies justification for doing the same. Now all they need to do is point to that moment and say, you guys did it first, go fuck yourselves, and until we bring the GOP to justice, they're correct. Donald Trump does not understand international relations, Chapter 65368. We're getting really close to the max 16-bit integer for how many times Trump has fucked up, huh? The metaphor, America's standing in the world. The fact that Trump has somehow managed to start a fight with the very country he was doing a favor for, Turkey, is just unbelievably incompetent. He's so weak he can't even stand by his poor decision or just admit his mistake, instead he'll attempt to appear in control and cause further damage. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.